interested in sewing or fashion or you just clicked on this video by mistake. So I'm making this 1960s inspired dress for Christmas and also for my birthday. I added the shawl and it is an Etsy vintage pattern so I will link the pattern below. So without further ado, let's just go into the sew along video and happy holidays! I'm going to lay all my pattern pieces on my fabric that is folded in half. I think this pattern took around 3 meters of fabric. Also, this pattern from this PDF doesn't come with seam allowance, so just keep that in mind. I later on changed the sleeve strap. Because I'm not a big fan of sleeveless dresses, I made a shawl style sleeve. First, I'm going to start with the underskirt front. I will sew the darts and the middle front seam. I'm not going into details about sewing machine settings because it's going to be different from everyone. But my machine is threaded with the right needle and since this fabric frays, I'm going to zigzag the edges. I know you're not supposed to backstitch on darts but I'm lazy and I also needed that bubble look. Now for the bodice. I don't know if I was supposed to cut it on fold or not, but I chose to do so. I'm going to start with the darts and zigzag the edges as well. Now for the top part of the bodice, I'm going to treat it as binding. So I cut two and I'm going to sew them upper part together or right sides together and I'm not sewing the sides. After turning the bodice binding right sides out, I'm going to pin it on the full bodice. It's a little confusing, but if you saw the pattern, you would understand what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to work on the underskirt back and it's very very important to label the pattern pieces. So I'm going to do the darts and not join them in the middle. There's a lot of dart sewing in this video. I'm going also to work on the overskirt back, do all the darts and not join them in the middle. It has more darts and much fuller than the underskirt back. So now I'm going to join the overskirt front with the overskirt back. I'm going to sew them on the sides and leave the back seam open. And now I'm going to join the underskirt front with the underskirt back, again sewing the side seams but leaving the middle seam open. Now I'm going to work on the back, going to sew the darts and then attach the side seams with the bodice front and the bodice back. Now it's time to assemble everything in layers. I'm going to start with the underskirt, then overskirt, 
than bodice. Join them all in the waist seam. And then it's time to try it on. I did add uh, two extra darts in the bodice. The pattern comes with a bow for the waist, but I haven't done that yet. And this is a closer look at the overskirt darts. This is the first time that I ever drafted a pleated cape sleeve, so I cannot give you any tips or tricks. Now I'm just securing the pleats together. Now it's time to hem both skirts and attach the zipper and you're pretty much done. the video and I would love any feedback also I would like to know in the comment section would you ever try and tackle this project would you want to do it yourself and I will see you in my next video bye happy holidays